Congratulations on your purchase of the IQ Personal Vision Tracker and for downloading the latest version of the My IQ app. Over the next few minutes, we'd like to provide you with a few tips and troubleshooting techniques for using the app and Miniscope to help ensure the accuracy of your test results. When you're getting ready to start a new vision test, keep these helpful tips in mind. While viewing the test screen through the Miniscope, it's important not to squint. When you squint, you force your eyes to focus on a close target. Instead, try relaxing your eyes and look forward. During your vision test, try not to look at the miniscope or your smartphone with your non-testing eye. If you do, your eyes will become crossed and that can be a real obstacle to getting accurate test results. We recommend that you focus your non-testing eye on an object that is six feet in front of you and continue to look at it while taking the test. If you're nearsighted, that object may be blurry, which is perfectly normal. Here's another simple tip. It's important to keep your smartphone parallel to your face during your vision test. Holding it at an angle will cause incorrect test results, especially for those with astigmatism. Here are some tips about what you should see during your test. Always begin by making sure that the miniscope is securely attached to your smartphone over the dotted lines. The IQ logo should be facing the bottom of your phone and the rotating eyepiece set to the number one position. On the app screen at the start of your first test, the red and green lines should line up next to each other. If the lines do not appear to be lined up, your rotating eyepiece may not be at the correct number. It's important to make sure that the two lines completely overlap and that you see one solid yellow line. If at any point you only see one red or one green line, try readjusting your position very slightly. If your eyes have common refractive errors, such as nearsightedness or farsightedness, it's perfectly normal for these lines to appear blurry. Once you're satisfied that the test lines are accurately fully overlapped, you can proceed. Our final segment contains tips and troubleshooting techniques for range and alignment. The miniscope should be attached to your smartphone screen exactly within the white dotted lines that are displayed on the test screen. It should lie flat on the phone screen and not be tilted or placed outside of the white dotted lines. Remember to use the elastic band for a more secure fit and to prevent the miniscope from sliding on your screen during testing. When viewing the red and green lines on the testing screen, you'll notice that there is a maximum distance that the two lines can be apart from each other. If they're too far apart and have stopped moving in one direction, try tapping the other button, plus or minus, to move them back within a closer range. As you've seen demonstrated, pressing the minus or plus button moves the red and green lines closer or further apart. Pressing and holding down the plus or minus buttons, also known as long press, will move the lines faster. And finally, an option for folks who might find it difficult to navigate the test screen while holding their smartphone straight up. Simply find a flat surface like a table or desk, set your smartphone on it, and just lean over to look into the miniscope and take your vision test. Keep your face as parallel to the phone as possible. We don't recommend this pose for those under 45 years of age due to accommodation. At IQ, we're dedicated to providing a convenient and fun way to track your vision. We hope these tips and suggestions will help make your test results even more accurate and insightful.